is Sunday morning. It is day three of London Fashion Week Men's, but it's my second video because I'm combining day one and day two and day three and day four. Uh, because it's Sunday, it's a slightly later start. My first thing isn't until midday, I think. So I've had a nice relaxed morning. Currently in like my cozy gear. So I have my cashmere pants on and um, just a basic kind of t-shirt. And I am making a proper breakfast. The last few days have been a bit kind of early start, a bit intense and stuff. Tom made me breakfast on the first day. Uh, second day I didn't eat any breakfast because I was in a bit of a rush. So today I'm taking my time and I'm making banana pancakes. And in fact, these are ready to flip. Now I just um, actually filmed a live stream on my second channel, Everyday Gym. Um, so you can go check out how I made them. Or you can just buy Tanya Burr's book. It is called uh, Tanya Bakes. Look at them, they look great. It's called Tanya Bakes. This is the recipe here. And this is the cover of the book. Now, here's the puppy. She's spending all of her time by this big white thing on the wall. That is a radiator. She keeps sitting there facing it because it's really warm. So I'm going to put her bed there. <laughs> Go on then, kiddo. Get comfy on there. And that'll be her probably for the next few hours now. Just, just curled up by the radiator. It's actually really warm in here anyway. Right there, champ. Getting stroked. Okay, so um, here's my pancakes. They are stacked. Now, to be honest, um, I'm doing three at a time. This is already my second round. I think I'll have three. So that'll be nine pancakes for me. I'm going to add some of this syrup here. This is fruit syrup, so it's a little bit less bad for you, basically. A little less sugary, I suppose. Um, right, on a little bit of a drizzle. Yummy. Hello. So I'm in the car. Um, if you didn't watch yesterday's video or whenever I uploaded the last video, you won't know what car I'm in. I'm in a big yellow Mercedes uh, G-Class. The G-Wagon is amazing. When I get out, I will show you it again in case you missed yesterday's video because it's definitely worth seeing. Anyway, uh, on my way to the first show now, and actually, um, I changed my schedule slightly. So the first thing I was going to see was at midday, but that was a presentation. The presentation lasts about two hours. You can kind of drop in and drop out. Um, so the first show I'm seeing is at one. Um, instead, because it kind of then means that I've got less of a gap after, so I'm going to do the first show at 1, then the presentation that I was going to do at 12, I'm going to go to after the first show, does that make sense? And then I've got less time to kill in between the next show. So um, actually today's quite compact, which is quite nice, I've got four or five things to see, but they're pretty much one after another, which is handy, and then uh, today's done, and it's Sunday, and I can chill out and like watch The Walking Dead, I've got like three episodes of The Walking Dead to watch, and I also need to finish um, Westworld too, I've got the last episode. Annoyingly, the last episode of that was ruined for me because I recorded something after that um, on the Skybox thing and it had caught the last few minutes of that show and I fast forwarded through it and I saw what happened at the very end, which is kind of annoying. But I now I need to know what, how it got to that. Anyway, uh, on to the first thing, which is Zimon Li uh, in association with GQ China. Don't know what to expect from it because I don't think I've seen that show before, so um, we'll film it and I'll keep you posted. This is, this is my uh, G-Wagon um, for the entirety of London, London Fashion Week men's. Um, other, there are other cars, you could have one of these guys here, or um, you can have one of the big people carriers if there's lots of you, but I mean look at that, <laughs> that's mental. really need a mint and I was standing there it's like there's no shop there's no one here and there was people on the steps and I was like I can't even ask them Darren doesn't know that I'm filming this oh, the other sorry. day the other, no it's fine the other day Darren had a date and had no mints I did not have a so, date uh, so I had, had to swing by <laughs> had to swing by this big yellow car to get a few mints but they came in handy anyway uh, that was Zimon Lee it was cool it was very spacey um, what did you think Darren I'm uh, filming you hang on there, oh, there you are, hello. Hey, I enjoyed the creativity of it. Yes. There's lots of colour, lots of really interesting textures. Would I wear any of it? Probably not. Mm -hmm. so Agreed. That sums it up for me. Agreed, yeah, no, I thought it was it was a cool, oh, hello. It's cool. There we go. It was a cool show, but it was kind of more to show off what they're capable of as opposed to, I guess, what people would actually wear 
IRL. Anyway, the next one's exciting. It is a presentation um, by Kent and Kerwin, which is David Beckham's... What's what's his role with it? He's, he, he owns is, it, or he's designing, or he's... He's an investor, he's an investor. and a creative director. Investor. And, yeah. Investor and creative director into it. So it should be really good. Fingers crossed he'll be there, because that would be great, wouldn't it? Um, that's Daisy's dream. That was really, really good. Um, when we first walked up all those stairs, I, I guess you saw kind of the, the setup. When you first walked up all those stairs, we didn't think there were any clothes. We thought it was just the video. And you come back around the other way and there's loads of really, really gorgeous stuff. Um, Daisy lost her mind. I'm uh, uh, David Beckham. Um, we didn't get a selfie and I really wanted to get one for Daisy, but she went, no, he looked at me. That's all I need. Uh, you're, you're a big fan, right? Huge fan. <laughs> Even more so now. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was a very, very solid collection, actually. I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. Um, kind of really had British themes running through it, which I'm a big fan of, um, and had lots of heritage. So, yeah, good stuff. Well done, David and Kurt and Kurt. Kurt, Kurt and what is it? Kurt and Kurt. Kerwin and Kurt. No, Kurt and Kerwin. Kurt and Kerwin, I think. Uh, <laughs> need to work on that name. Next up is Chester Barry, which from what I understand, is the only tailoring brand um, on the schedule this season. Usually there's loads of tailoring and stuff, but um, big fan of it actually. They do beautiful suits, um, so looking forward to seeing it. I do kind of wish there was more shirts and ties and stuff, but this is it, so let's make the most of it. Darren's been very busy posting his, um, posting his Instagram My David, David Beckham Mac interview. Guess what happened though? Uh, Darren interviewed him um, on Instagram and the order didn't work. Oh, do you know, friggin' annoying. Do you know what you hear? Basically, he told me I look amazing. Basically, he said, he said that guy you're with, the guy in like the green bomber, he's, he's a bit all right. No, isn't he? he said to me, I I I dump Victoria for you, and Jay Darren, <laughs> leave your number at the door. I'm like, okay, thanks. <laughs> you're well out, Missy. You can do better than David. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I recognise the street, I don't know where I am. Uh, but that mile, the long mile, the simple mile. The long mile, I don't know, but there's Kinky Boots up there. Uh, and we're going to go over there, Byron, for lunch. Uh, burger time. But I really love that collection. That's kind of, like I said, the only uh, tailoring one um, on the schedule this season. And I thought it was bloody brilliant. So, yes, good job, Chester Barry. Burger. Yes. That is uh, me done for shows for today. We did miss one. There was a presentation um, with John Lobb, which is a shoe brand, but it clashed with the last show, which was Christopher Rayburn. And Christopher Rayburn does a great show, so I really wanted to see that. But then I got chatting to people after, and I went upstairs to the show space where they have um, new up and coming brands. I popped up there, and then by the time I realized um, what the time was, we were, we'd missed John Lobb already. So that's it for me for today. I'm gonna head home. Tan's making dinner, so that's exciting. Uh, and it all starts again tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is the final day, um, so it's a bit of a bigger one. There's quite a lot of really great shows. In fact, Vivian Westwood is showing, which is very exciting. Uh, she hasn't shown in the UK for a long time, and seeing as she's a British brand, um, is, is kind of coming back home, which is cool. Well, look what I've just got home to. Here we have a chickeny chili ragu thing, Tom just said. It's chicken, garlic, chili, chopped tomatoes. Puppy dog. Martha, why don't you help me make a drink? I'm going to have a Negroni, I think. Um, you want to help? No? Okay, so in the freezer, I've got these really cool ice cube making things. So you see these little things here? I've got a, what's this shape called? What do you call it? Like a jack, I think you call it. I've got a sphere, and I've got a cube, and in fact, I've been making some. So here you go. Um, I'm gonna go for this one here, I think. So I got these for Christmas, my mum bought them for me, because I much prefer a big ice cube in the drink, because it actually cools it down much better, and doesn't melt. Now, usually you'd make your own Negroni, but I've never made one in my life, and I'll do it wrong. So you would use um, Campari and vermouth and then gin. We have lots of gin in this house. But for Christmas, Kate, my very good friend, bought me a, a, a Negroni that's already made. So I'm gonna pour a bit of that in. And then all you need is a bit of orange zest. Do we have any orange? We don't have oh. So usually what you do is you curl a bit of the orange peel and put it in, but we haven't got any, so I'm going orangeless.
for everyone, by the way. Um, in fact, I remember uh, I introduced Daisy to one not too long ago and she hated it, which meant I had two. Because <laughs> it's quite bitter. What do you think, Tom? It doesn't taste like a normal one. Because maybe this is already like made. Syrup. Yeah, it's a bit sweeter than normal. Maybe because it's already made. Maybe it's like, you know, it's kind of like a mixed one. That tastes a bit cough syrupy, all right. Mm. Does the trick though. Allow me to introduce you to Martha's Christmas present. This is a finger puppet. It's not actually a dog toy, but um, we thought it'd be really cute for her to play with whilst having our hands in it, as opposed to sort of a dead thing that she just, you know, throws around the place. Um, and she freaking loves it. Hang on a second, I need to change hands. Here we go. Martha! What is this? Look at her tail going. What is it? It's the donkey! Christmas donkey! Okay, ready! <laughs> the thing is, she doesn't realise my hand's in it, so she does bite quite hard. And we didn't think that through when we bought it. Good morning everybody, welcome to Monday. It is 7am, we've been up since 5, just laying in bed. Uh, it's still pitch black outside. And here's my protein shake. I came downstairs to make myself a protein shake and my wife had already done it for me because she's brilliant and she makes them much better than me. I believe it's protein, banana, almond milk, ice and chia seeds. All I do is banana, um, almond milk and protein because I'm lazy but really good. Now I need to make myself a coffee and get on with the day. So today's quite a big one. Uh, it's actually not loads of shows, there's about four or five shows I'm going to but it's Vivian Westwood which is a big one. And it's the GQ closing party tonight, which is also quite a big event. And I have to pack, because although it's the end of London Fashion Week Men's in London, it starts in uh, Florence. Basically, you can go on a, on a four-week tour if you want to. So all the, the fashion journalists will do London, Florence, um, Milan, New York. I'm not doing all that, because I've got other stuff to do. But I am going to um, Florence with Tommy Hilfiger, so I'm going to see that show. And I'm going to Milan for something. Time to get on with the day. I need my coffee. I need my protein. I need to get showered. I need to eat some food. So I've just discovered my espresso cups do this. Oh wait, hang on. Wait. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Why is it doing that? That's not what I meant. Wow, it just goes on forever. Oh my god! That is not what I meant it to do at all, but it's still going. What is happening? Is it ever going to stop? <laughs> I can't believe it's still going. Right, that last little bit was what I was trying to show you, the bit where it goes I just like the noise it makes. <laughs> it, just, it just kept going. Got in the shower and got into my outfit for today and just as I was about to leave, uh, my doorbell went and my groceries had arrived and I forgot they were coming. So I'm actually running a bit late already, but before I go, I have to put this away or it's all gonna go off. So, cue timer. <laughs> Bad news everyone, there's a tube strike today and I forgot about it. So uh, Martin, who's my driver, who's uh, been a legend this whole weekend, uh, took, took him two hours to get in this morning. How long does that journey usually take you, mate? Hour. Hour. So, Less good. Uh, we have now hit a little bit of traffic. Uh, our show is at 10, sat now saying 10.06. Now usually there's a bit of leeway, especially on days like today, they'll be a little bit kind of um, more relaxed with timings. But it's an early show and the later the first show starts then it kind of, you know I mean it kind of has like a butterfly effect so um, fingers crossed we'll make it if not that'll be rubbish it's actually a really good show it's called Songzio um, and I went last season for the first time and I really enjoyed it so I would like to see it but um, so far I'm gonna say 50 50 are the chances we barely moved then um, it I mean the sat now now saying 25 minutes past 10 when we first got in the car it was saying four minutes past 10 so um, we could have made it then, we're not going to make it now. Unless there's some sort of miracle or someone invents teleportation in the next 38 seconds. Um, it's a shame, because I remember last season, someone who worked for Songzi, I can't remember who was like the designer or the owner or something, was like a big fan of mine and it was really sweet, because usually you meet the designers and you know, they say hi and they know who you are and you chat and everything. But to have someone who actually really likes my stuff, who is, you know, designing clothes, is pretty cool. Uh, but 
not going to happen. Luckily, the next thing is bell staff, um, and it's a presentation, so it's on for two hours, so we can kind of drop in and drop out. Um, I have a feeling today is going to be a day where we're just in traffic quite a lot. Luckily, we do have gaps between everything, so if we'd made this, this starts at 10, the next thing starts at 11, and the thing after that starts at like midday or something, so we should be fine after this, but it's a shame to miss the first one. Hey ho, what can you do? There goes a boat, I don't know if you can see that. Look, there it is, my boat. We should have got on that. I once got on a river boat with, with Joe actually, because Joe lives kind of on the river somewhere in London, and it's so much quicker because there's no traffic. Totally missed Songzio um, by a long way. In fact, it's now 20 to 11. My next thing is at 11, and it's just down there. So we got here super early so we don't miss it. The next thing is Bell Staff. So I'm the first one here for this presentation. It does start now, but I think because of the, the delays, everyone's really late. So actually, I'm gonna hang out here for a while because they said they're still doing the finishing touches. Um, so I'm gonna wait here just for a few minutes and then see it in all its glory. Also, I don't really wanna be the only one in there because it'll be a little bit awkward, me kind of walking around and touching things alone. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hang here for a few minutes. Hopefully, other people will turn up soon. I'm guessing the other people might have made it to the first show, but because of the, the delays, cube like and everything, um, they're all gonna be a bit later. So I quite like it. It's nice and industrial here, very fashion. So I'll just kind of hang. And, uh, and wait for it all to start. So the theme of this show is Jolly Roger. So you might have noticed that it's kind of looks like a ship. Uh, and actually, some of the clothes are really cool. They've got like tattoos on the back, similar to tattoos of pirates. What well, say pirates? You know, people who worked in uh, the nautical jobs back way back when. Uh, and like on the back of the jacket, it's really cool. Uh, and in fact, sticking with the theme, there's oysters and like um, a gin-based cocktail that. Um, adaptation of, of a cocktail that people used to drink when they're on ships to prevent scurvy so it's got grapefruit and lime in it. Um, it's quarter past 11 though, so a bit early for gin, I think. Like maybe a water. And also, I'm not a huge fan of oysters. I, I can eat one for the experience, but it tastes a bit like cold phlegm to me, so uh, I might avoid the oysters for now. But hey, it's cool. It's, I like the way it's, it's all themed. You've got like, the whole kind of uh, nautical theme running through with the food and the drink and the clothes. After the bit you just watched, we had a bit of technical difficulty in that my camera stopped working. I had filmed a few clips, thought they'd worked, and I've come to edit and realised that they hadn't. So, just to fill you in, here's what happened. I had bell staff, uh, then I went for lunch with um, some of my friends from GQ. It started raining, uh, and then I walked to the Vivian Westwood show. Now, it's really exciting to have a Vivian Westwood show back in London. She hasn't shown here for, like, I want to say 30-something years. That's a really big deal. Um, so I was walking there, full of excitement. Uh, I tried to film some of the show as well, and you'll find out that that didn't work either. But after that, the camera does start working again. So sorry you missed a bit. Uh, currently in Milan, by the way, for something else. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm walking. I'm walking in the D&G show. How amazing is that? So you're going to find that soon. But anyway, here's my hotel. Uh, we're a few days later now, and I'm in Milan. As you can see, it's quite dark now. Uh, so that was Vivian Westwood. I'm not sure how much of it you got to see because we had real camera issues. Daisy, bless her, was um, up because it, it was in like a it was in like a uh, an old leisure centre. So there was stalls up high, and I saw Daisy with the camera. I kept seeing her poking it, but apparently we had issues. So I'm not sure if you saw any of it, but it was really cool. Um, Vivian Westwood herself walked at the end. So usually what happens is the designer comes out at the end and stands right at the bottom of the catwalk and just waves for like three seconds and then heads back in again. But she did the entire walk. Um, it was really cool. Had like, um, I kind of felt a bit like it was, had a sort of a 16th century witch hunting vibe about it. It sounds really weird. And it, a lot of it wasn't all that wearable, but I think it, you know, it's, it's the point of it. Um, but it was, yeah, very cool to see uh, a Vivian Westwood show. Now I have got one more thing. Actually, I've got a few more things, but that overran and it went on for quite long actually. Traffic is horrendous and I've got, I'm going to Italy tomorrow with Tommy Hilfiger and I have to get my outfit that they're sending to me um, and the only time I can get it is now. So I'm gonna have to head home for the next few hours because later on I've got the GQ closing dinner. So um, it's now or never. So I'm gonna have to head home and skip the last few things unfortunately. Uh, but that's okay because I can pack for Italy. So I'm there for the rest of the week actually. It's now Monday. Mm -hmm. So I'm there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So um, I've got lots to pack. Um, yes, see you in a bit. I'm home and it's time to start packing. I have to pack for a whole week, well, six days. Um, so, once again, cue time lapse. You can't come, you're still there. Welcome to 
to my bathroom. Okay, so I've packed and I've got in a suit. I'm actually wearing, uh, I don't know if you can tell because the lighting's not great in here, but I'm wearing the suit I got married in um, with a different waistcoat. The waistcoat underneath um, is from a different suit, but both of which are from Dunhill. I think the titles are from Dunhill too, and I think the pocket squares are also Dunhill. Well done, Dunhill. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to take you guys with me because I've got zero battery on this phone uh, and I'm not really supposed to film it because it's quite an intimate affair um, and I don't think anyone's going to want me to put camera in their face. Um, so I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed these videos. Um, I will be filming my escapades in Italy but putting them probably on my second channel, I think. Um, so I'll see you over there. YouTube.com forward slash Everyday Gym. Thanks very much for watching these videos. Hope you like them. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Leave a comment down below. Give it a thumbs up. All that stuff. And I will see you um, very, very soon. Bye.